what's up what's up you guys welcome back to the channel today we are going to be making this beautiful design i will be using quinoline and doll face as you can see and we can either use one inch quinoline or the three inches quinoline as shown it depends on the width of your design for the sake of this video we are going to be using the one inch quinoline I'm taking measurement of these strips. I did cut them out. I'm measuring it 3 inches by 19.5. The second one is 3 inches by 22.5. While the third one is 3 inches by 25.5. They differ in length by 3 inches. So I folded it over, took it to the sewing machine and stitched down quarter of an inch on the side. And I'm going to start turning it inside out. So that we can have the channel. So I'm just using my scissors to turn this over, but it's not advisable. You can just turn it over, whatever you use to turn it over. Just make sure you turn it over. I'm going to show you how to use the needle to do that anyway, so that you don't run into problems. <laughs> Alright, so now we can take it to the pressing board. Use your pressing iron to press it down so that it can look neat. Then you take your queen line as well. You take your queen line to the sewing machine and then press down. You double the pin line and press it down. You can you might as well go layer it up to like four layers so that it can be thicker than this but two layers is fine as well but you can go up to four five all together to make it stronger and as you can see i've taped the um, tip of my pinoline line so that it doesn't poke my fabric the pinoline line has been doubled here that's why you can see a stitch on it so you double it you fold it over and then push it into your fabric you push it carefully gently so that it doesn't poke <laughs> you know, this is not going to be funny so that it doesn't poke your main fabric you push it out to get to the end mind you you're going to be taping both ends of the pin line so that when you attach it to your dress or wherever you're using it it doesn't poke your client or your <laughs> it doesn't poke you or your client so this is what i'm just going to be doing and remember that we have different lengths for the for the sake of this video we have different lengths so obviously they'll be longer than each other so the length of your queen line should be one inch lesser than the fabric so that you can have space at the end of the piece so at least stitch it down to your fabric or the dress that you're attaching it to so that it doesn't disturb you while you're unstitching or unpacking. Did get right. <laughs> so I'm just going to put them together now. As you can see, they are not of the same length. Um, the first one is longer than the other two as shown. And this is already giving us the shape that we want so you can either bend this to your to shape of size however you want it but this is what you get you may double the pinot line like i said you may layer it into like you may cut four pinot lines four different pinot lines and join them together the half inch you left at the end is what will make you turn the edge of the design in case you are not using an applique or going to be showing when you measure to join the, the end of the design after you're done and if you're using a larger queen like a wider queen line it gives you this particular style that you see so this is what we have if you got to this point please subscribe down below give this video a thumbs up share this video with your friends and family i have another video where i use um peplum stay and booning you can check that out do well to check that out 
thank you so much for watching my video and i'll see you in my next one watch every other videos on my channel and subscribe down below join the family we're good people around here okay put on the post notification so that you can get notified anytime i post a new video till i see you in my next video bye guys